Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is me playing Genshin Impact. Uh, this is a game that has been out for years, and a game that I don't really know much about at all. I uploaded a community post saying that I would like to maybe see what the vibes are for this game, and 90% of people said that they wanted to see me play it. 10% said they didn't, uh, but luckily we're going to try it out here anyway to see how I personally like it. I will say I will not be spending any money on this game. I think it might be more fun just to play through without any money aspect. So what you're trying to say is that you fell, Who fell here, here me? from another world? I did boot up this game when it originally released, but then stopped playing after two minutes. The next world, your path was blocked by some For some God? reason. What is happening? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The arrogation of mankind ends now. Is this who our characters are gonna be? Like, is this, is this... It's starting off very, like, crazy. Select a twin? Um, I'll be probably like, like, I guess he has a more neutral outfit. So I guess we'll be this twin? Enter your name. Oh, uh, Wander, I guess. There we go. Does he have a... I don't know if he has a canon name. I'm not sure. It's never a sure thing. We put her in a box. Or she put her in a box. This is like... This is such a nervous feeling. I like... This is such a big... Intro for a game. Wait, don't go. Give my sister back. And just like that, the god took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. Trapped here. So I'm guessing here is where we're gonna be going to. And then we were describing why we landed here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. Wait. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone. Until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So well, we, we caught him in... Best to be a great guy. <laughs> what is happening? We should head off. Let's get going. I might be completely wrong. Okay, so we're moving around in this game. Am I right in saying that's Zack? The voice of young Nier? So you press R1 to evade. X button to jump. I remember having a conversation with one of my mods at the time. When I booted up this game and I, boot, and I was like, I think it was at the, around the time I was like playing Breath of the Wild or just played Breath of the Wild. And I was like, I'm just going back to playing Breath of the Wild. Which I feel is kind of like always like a silly thing to say because you can have more than one game, you know. I'm sure it had comparisons, but who wants to compare stuff at this stage in our lives? Sorry for just taking a look around. I want to take a look around. Now. This is actually a really pretty game. It's really pretty. And then circles a sword. X is jump. Okay. Yeah, this might... I think it's Zack. I think Zack's doing the voice of this character. Fant I like a superb voice actor, by the way. One of the greatest uh, going right now. Um, R L3 to navigate? Okay. Wander is the name of my favorite... Um, one of my favorite... Oh! Okay! Combat is... Good. Yeah! Riding over here to this, uh, what is that? Ah, uh, this is exactly my type of style. This type of game. This is exactly the type of style I love from a game. 
Square button to enter interact. So it's a teleport waypoint. So we unlocked it. I guess it's if we want to teleport somewhere else. Open the world map, select to unlock terrible teleport waypoint to teleport to that location. And we're gonna have to unlock them as time goes on. Well, they'll want to open the shortcut wheel and select the map. Oh, it's coming out of the controller. That's weird. Cool. Sorry, I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm taking a gander. I'm taking a gander. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. I think I literally stopped like right here though when I first played this because I think I think I was just like I'm playing other games at the moment. I can't play Genshin. Um. The path ends here. Guess we'll just have to climb. Do we jump to climb? Climbing oh. And depleted stamina yep. takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. Being able to climb is such a good idea though. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? All of them. No, like, like I just think that, like, you know, that's one of the things that, like, you know, the first time I ever saw that idea that you can, like, a Kalali found it glows near. Can we read those at some point? That might be a good idea to read. It seems like they're given some information. The water's really pretty too. Um, one of the things that happens with these games uh, is that, like, sometimes people are too afraid to do that type of stuff. Which, by the way, always do that type of thing. Like. This was this is the first time I saw this. I know we're like I'm not trying to compare anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna judge this as its own game. But uh, the first time I played, did something where you can like climb on anything, climb on any wall, climb on any surface was Breath of the Wild. And my first thing was like everyone should do this. It doesn't make any sense for people not to just do this after like, you know what I mean? Like, if it works, it works, and it's a good mechanic. And the coolest thing that, like, you know, about good developers is that they won't try and copyright their different mechanics that they create. Even though you probably can't copyright climbing on everything. You shouldn't. Anyway, you shouldn't try. Some might try. It's like a Simpsons guy, but that's a compliment, I swear. <laughs> oh, wow. I like our main character's design as well. It's nice. This is pretty. This is super pretty. That's a statue of the Seven! There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this god controls cool. the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the Animal God, but... Paimon will take you to the Animal God's place first, and there's a reason why. The Outlander who caught the wind started. So this is Prologue Act 1. Check the main quest for more details. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. So it's a very simple story. Simple not in its like, uh, like what happens, of course. But just more simple in like our motivation. Find your sister. Very simple. And it works. Uh, it gives us a reason to push forward. It's someone we love. It's someone we care about. Uh, we have to ask uh, Zach Aguilar why two characters that he's played now that I know very well are all about trying to save his sister. Does he go for those roles specifically? Is that what he goes for? <laughs> Hey, uh, you don't mind if I save my sister in this one? Sure, go for it. What's that? Return to quest point. Oh, so that's just like if you want to return. Okay, that's fine. I don't know, I kind of want to explore a little bit as well. Hey. Hey, you boys. Listen, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to hurt you. If I knew, I could have called him near. You know? I could have called him near. That would have been too on the nose, though. Huh. And honestly... I would say un unsubscribe if I called him near. Just because it's the same voice actor. Iron Chunk. Yeah, this is my type of game. So far, anyway. This is a game that I would spend way too much time in. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. Um, if anyone, you know, you know, I've, I've talked about it many times on the channel. Um, 
for now we're able to do extra videos like this. Obviously that could change if, you know, if we don't get to that goal. And I know it sounds so bad, uh, but it's just the truth. Um, trying to get to that goal on Patreon of 500 is basically where we're trying to get. And that would basically mean that we can do more stuff like this, like play this uh, along with the... Along with uh, playing the normal Let's Play 2. That just means really long videos of this as well. It says return to the quest point, but I think we're heading towards the quest point, right? Like, it's right over there. Unless we have to return to um, our friend there that's been helping us out. That could be it. Don't become a monster if you don't mind. I, I can't handle it. I wonder, does the weapon break, or does the weapon lower its durability as we're going along? It could. It could very well do. Beautiful. Grace is beautiful. The funny thing about games like this, though, and I talk about art style all the time, but, um, this is going to look good in 20 years' time. You know? L3 is a turn to quest point, so you just... Oh my god, that's weird. Oh! That's... Okay, we don't die from falling. That's good. <laughs> that's very good. And if anyone knows anything about me, you know, if you see me on Twitter, I share a lot of videos about JRPGs. Share a lot of, like, oh, I'm playing this JRPG right now. I'm playing this JRPG. I'm playing this game. I'm playing this anime-style JRPG. Starfell Lake. So, like, this is, like, kind of, like, up my alley so far. And it is very, you know, they did, um, we did get right into the combat, though, and get right into the gameplay, and get right into the discovery of this. When you say return to quest point, what do you mean? Do I have to talk to her? Oh, we actually have to talk to her. Oh my god, I feel so silly. That's a statue of the Seven. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this god controls okay. the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. So now we have to... Oh, we have to follow... As we all animal. know, poetry Paimon, and I mean. language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's yeah. what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. That was my mistake. So let's hop to it. That was definitely my mistake. I, they wanted me to follow the character, and we should have. Can we get that chest, though? Paimon? Paimon, can I get that chest? What do you think, Paimon? Think I can get that chest? I'll be two seconds. I'll be two seconds, okay? It's just a common chest, Paimon. I'll keep this close. Oh, we got a spear. Hold on a second, can we equip it? Inventory. Can I equip? No? Okay. It says the equipment has been locked. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. You can swim right over. Yeah, now I see why they wanted me to go this way for sure. Hold L1 to open the, the characters. Okay, here. Yeah, let's go. Artifacts. Equip artifacts. Do we have any artifacts? No consumables found. We also have weapons. We can't enhance our weapon yet. Constellation, talents, profile. We don't have a birthday yet. Oh, you can dash. But it, re it reduces your stamina very quickly. Huh? 
Does that act oh it activates the map. Okay, cool. Ooh, did you just feel the elements of the world? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. This can't be good. It's a bit rude to say that about the, oh, sorry. the gods just gave you. <laughs> I didn't. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Press L2 to unleash an elemental skill. So we have a new elemental skill, which is for L2. R2, sorry. Swirl. What do you think of that? That's what happened to you. Oh, there's more of you guys. And you can charge it. That's what I was doing, but we'll... we'll oh, wait. Hold on a second. You have to wait for it to go. There we go. What do you think of that? That's what happened. That's what's happening to you. Now we burnt the grass, and then oh, then the L. Oh wait, let's go. Okay, so there's some like extra abilities in this game. These are the animal powers you got from the statue of the Seven. Cool. Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting? Paimon, now? I will protect you. No problem. Press the Paimon, then change the control. Wait, press to call Paimon. Press this to call Paimon. <laughs> I'm still kind of getting used to all of this. Community. No, I'm fine. Um, notices. Mail. Wait, we can take photos? Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh my god. Zoom in. Zoom in. Look at that. Genshin Impact. Am I right? <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, so we're heading towards that town over there, I'm guessing. Go to Mondstadt, yeah. Clear to find, uh, rolls. If I do mess up on some stuff, you guys can definitely, like, you know, tell me, hey, you should be doing this instead, maybe try this instead. I have no problems getting some information from you guys that will not upset me whatsoever. Well, it's getting darker over here. This is really pretty. Like, this is an unbelievably pretty game. There's some enemies over there. I can see him. He's like rolling around the place. Oh, there's a house over here too. It's like a witch's house. Can we stealth? Oh my god. Wait, what was that? I thought that was us doing that. Wow, what is that? There's something huge in the sky. I don't think we're going to go near it though, right? It's heading towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with Okay, passion. so they're telling us maybe not to fight it. Oh, should I? How you evade like this? Oh, I could probably fight it. You think I should fight it? Is it is this something we should fight? Hey! Important message. Collecting wood. A tall tree that originates in the far north, but which has been uh, since spread all over Tevat. It produces great many branches and is a key wood resource throughout the various nations. Birches are a common sight in the Wind uh, Whale Highland and other places. Cut a birch down to obtain birch wood. Okay. Should we do that? Why not? Or is that? Or do we need like a, a an axe? Or maybe we already did it. <laughs> and there's you can't chop it down. Oh my god! That's gorgeous. Where was the house that we just saw? I saw like a witch's house. Is it over here? There it is. Oh, it's definitely not a witch's house. It's like a little goblin camp. Let's go. Oh, we can try and trick them. Let's pretend we're asking for sugar. That was such a funny thing that you people used to do. I say some people still do it, though. And we should definitely take the, the forward, forward approach. Let's go. Hello, everyone. It is I. Wander. Yeah. I'm here to... Uh... No, no, no. I'm okay. You don't need to come near me. Uh, I have something to tell you guys, actually. It's called Wind. What do you think? Your boys are gone. They got vaporized. Your best friends are gone. I might leave you alone. 
think about it. Okay, yeah, it's level two. Not gonna be that much of a, a hassle. Cool. Yeah, combat in this game is good. It's like good. It's very, it's very like easy so far. But then I guess they're gonna be like, judging by like the abilities you can get. Is this an answer from this world? There's gonna be a lot of combinations that we can do, I guess, which is totally okay with me. Which means there's probably gonna be like room for customization. Oh, we get nighttime style now. I'm actually very okay with um. How this game looks more than okay. Hold the oh, access the character screen again, and we have artifacts now. What is that? Traveling doctor's pocket watch increases. Oh, four piece setting using elemental. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? We have this as well. Can we only equip one? Yeah, you can only... Oh, no, we have we have that equipped as well. So we have all three of them equipped. That's smart. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> why not? Again? You still want me to access the character screen for why? Oh, level up. Sorry. Sorry about that. So you can select XP materials, amount to use, I guess... We should use all of them? And we're now level six. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> Again, like, I want to- oh! You win this time, goblins. Um, I'm actually like, you know, kind of nervous because like this is like a whole new experience, it's a whole new game, it's a whole new franchise. That always happens with every game I play. You know, it doesn't matter what franchise I'm playing, if I'm playing a new franchise of games, there is like that thing where it's like, you know, you have to like, you know, acclimate yourself to the new game, but also acclimate yourself to how the game works and how uh, the audience uh, sees their game versus how you see it. You know what I mean? That's all. That can be sometimes a problem. These guys are rather easy, though, I guess. But I guess they're supposed to be like it's the first area. Yeah. Again, they're they're using a lot of mechanics that I know from other games. But, like, that's a freaking good thing. I'll keep this close. Like, Jesus Christ, you, you know, if you have something good, use it. Some apples over there, is that a trap? Did someone set a trap for us? And I'm sure I'm gonna miss stuff too. That's definitely gonna happen. But that's okay. I'm not totally, like, I, the idea of, like, missing stuff is good, too. Because then it means that this game is very much more, like, than we even thought it would be. Oh, it's a level 4 guy over here. Do they level up with you? I wonder if they scale with you. He got me good there. Get into the fire there, I'd say. Yeah, you walk into that fire. Oh, he hit his head off the rock. It's his own fault, probably, though. We'll blame himself. If anyone asks, he fell into the rock. Poor boy. I'll keep this close. That th has to be like a top ten like rush in a video game is opening a chest. We could swim across, but that's very silly. <laughs> there's ducks. There's swans. There's little quackers. But we should swim across to this side or lake. Oh yeah, we can totally get across here just to get this chest. Is that the that's the town we're going to? Is literally, I remember talking about this world? on Twitter, like literally the other day, <laughs> how towns and video games are so important to me, and a good town really makes or breaks uh, a video game for me. Um, it's almost like as well. I always say that if a game has a good bathroom, you know the game is going to be good because if they put the detail into the bathroom, you know it's going to be good. If they put um, a lot into their towns, you know they care about the player. That's how I feel. Should we stay on the track? Because remember there she was like, Don't go to the whispering wood, it's all whispery. Ah! I will eat you someday. 
Wait, oh god. Maybe we went too far. I'll go. I can leave. I can leave. It's okay. Huh? Hmm? Look at that. <gasps> Who is that? Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? Oh, great design. Great little design. The designs of this game are fun. Little tights. Don't! Oh. Oh. Do we run? Oh no, they, they left. So they were like talking to the dragon as if like they were trying to soothe it. Luckily, Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna. Honestly, get not gonna be mad that you pulled my hair because I dragged us into this. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Of course. But not. dragons are actually like, in, in at least in traditional media, oh, are very intelligent. That? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. So maybe it is a okay thing to do. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Okay. So it wasn't worth it to come in here. Like, I guess, like, um... We got to meet a character, at least. I don't know how much they're gonna be, like, in this game with us. I, I'm guessing we're gonna see them again. Like, of course we're gonna see them again, right? They wouldn't just introduce a character just to make them go away. Or maybe they would. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. This is, like, one of the most blind playthroughs I've ever done. Like, all I ever see from this, uh, like, the, the playthrough is, like, or, or this game... This close. Like, this is genuine, like, all I ever see from this game is, like, people, like, arguing on Twitter. Like, some people are like, this game sucks, you Genshin fans are dumb. And then the Genshin fans, like, are arguing about, like, which character is, like, the most thick. And, like, I'm like, what is this game? <laughs> hey, you! Stop right there! <laughs> oh, another character, what the hell? The designs of this game are really cool. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. Thank you. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. Nice to meet you. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. This is my fairy thing? I'm from another world? How do you do? Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? <laughs> Emergency food. No, let's not say that. We'll say we're friends. We're friends. I mean, we've only we're gonna been try to be nice in this game for two months, but two months. Oh, so this has been a lot of partnership even before this. We've already become the very best of friends. So, to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. The dragon left behind a little slip present for me, actually. It's not far from here. I'll escort oh, you there. Oh, sure. Amber with her cool, cool oh. glasses. Aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that, too. Let's take protection from Amber. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Why so suspicious? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should Oh, you're a knight. knight. That's the knight outfit. I give you my apologies. Uh, strange yet respectable. I guess it's more like it. <laughs> it sounded so fake. Look, she's trying her best. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? So, like, it's from a handbook, yeah. Fair enough. Will you come with us? Wait, what? Wait, what? So we have a new... So we can switch to Amber. 
Hold L2. Oh my god. It's oh my god. I love Amber. I love Amber. Oh my god. So suspicious travelers. What are you doing in Monstaff? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel Let's buddy. talk. Let's How let them talk for a bit as well. Sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. Can I just say something? What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. I understand that there's people who are not big fans of this game. I understand there's people who don't are not a big fan of this game. Because there was, there was a lot of pushback when I uploaded that community video. But can I say genuinely... I'm, I'm having a joyous time. This is a joyous time for me. To be able to play such a game on the channel like this feels good. You know? This is like, this is, this is, this is so good. And if it took Genshin Impact to be able to play a lovely little RPG anime style game, then I'm good. Then I'm very happy. Let's good change, check this out. So we can go to artifacts and equip this, I suppose. What about this? Same thing. Oh, this as well. Oh my god. And can we level up at all? Voiceover. I feel like running. Jean will be upset if she That's catches really us cool. around like that they just have the voice actor for the story, character details. Amber's an Outrider Knight of the uh, Favinus. In an age of where the Outriders are becoming obsolete, she continues on with her responsibilities. It takes a newcomer only a few days to feel right at home. Um, with the passion, with this passionate girl, I agree. Already, I, I like her. Uh, whether it's before the Good Hunter signboard, the banks of Cider Lake, or the treetops of Windrise, one can find traces of the vigilant Outrider in red anywhere once spotted by her. No suspicious individual can ever escape her interrogation. Yeah, I love that. I love someone who's like, no problem interrogating people. We can level up with um, Amber as well, so let's use both of these to level up. At least get to level two, you know what I mean? Again, no idea how this game works, but we'll try it. <laughs> hey! Quick, get it! Do you want me to kill this guy? Hey, yo! Do you want a bow and arrow? Hey, you. Oh, stay away from me, please. What do you think of this? These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this You can just do auto shoot as well, okay. Camp. So we have to destroy them. The sun is rising too. Oh, we're gonna get to see a sunrise in this game too. This is a really pretty game. Oh, we have another little camp here, so we have to. So that's what she's doing. We can chat. No, I, I don't need. To. I guess it's if you're playing with multiple people. Nice. Look at that. And they're only level one as well, so they do probably like, you know, change with you. And then wonder. Let's go. It's probably better to have wonder like up close combat. Like, of course it is. Like, it's a sword versus a bow. But we also have Amber as well in our team, which actually like makes this like way easier as well because we can do a lot of range stuff too. Okay, no, we can't stop looking. I was, I was like, oh, it's really pretty. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Huh, nothing to it. Though I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves. Thank there. you. You su you surprised me, Amber. You're very good. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Brady broke a sweat. Those things are tougher than they look. We'll, we'll be modest. Now that you mentioned 
mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the Which city? Which is a problem. Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a Good. little bit safer. Good. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. We got some items there for our little quest. An answer from this world? Yeah. Yeah, like, I like that they gave us somewhere to bow. Like, I'm not sure if, like, if the characters... If that... Like, the, I know that you have to, like, roll to get characters. Like, it's a random thing to get characters. But I'm wondering if, like, Amber is, like, a character that everyone gets right away. Um, because it makes sense to guide you to the city. Because I, I can't... I know you get to the city by yourself no matter what. But it's, it'd be very, you know, strange not to have her here. Or, or maybe it wouldn't be. Maybe you just have, like, a completely different character altogether guiding you to the city. I don't know how that works. I really don't know how that works. I'm sure you guys will tell me. A little mushroom. Oh, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. How are you? You cooking? It smells so good. How are you, Lynn? What should I cook next? Oh, you cook. You cook good, Lynn. Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? The designs of this game are really, really swell. Really, really swell. No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good. I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Nice. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics. My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. I can only cook a few simple dishes. That's why I love cooking too. I'll say I can only cook it. Yeah, we're trying to be humble. That's okay. Be a bit humble. Let's see what you can do. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer. Um, barrel? <laughs> uh, lady, I gotta be honest with you. I already broke the barrel. But I'll, I'll take all this stuff, though. So we can make food. Cooking is a good thing. It's a very, um, traditional, very JRPG thing to do. Um, all. So we have... What are we looking for? Uh, steak? Chicken? Oh, here we are. Chicken mushroom skewer. Oh my god, it's it's through the controller. What? Success. Okay. This is insane. What is it doing? <laughs> it's, it's through the controller. I'm trying to put the controller up to the here as well so you guys can hear it. Let's make more. Why not? We're almost proficient. Okay, we, I think we made enough. We'll make a steak. I like the sound. It's actually kind of nice. Okay, we're done cooking for now. Thank you so much, Lynn. Anything else to say? No? R3 to change what you're talking about. Is it done? Do you want it? Mm, smells try it good. out. I did a good job. Let me try oh yeah, great. Mm. What you think? <laughs> nice. Lynn? Mm. Then your mother? Hmm. Wow. Uh, no, uh, it's good. Please, Lynn, don't break my heart. Now that's really tasty. Thank you. You are indeed gifted. Thanks. It's the one thing I have. Hi, I told you so. It's the one thing I have. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. I just cook steak. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for Girl, the you meal. gave us materials already. Can we really have them? You're Won't being way too nice, Lynn. That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. 
Go have a look when you've got the time. I will. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lynn. Okay. Thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon. Sorry, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon, listen, I gotta be honest with you. This ain't working out, okay? No, I'm kidding. Is Paimon following us? Paimon! No? Oh, maybe Paimon's just with us all the time. Let's switch to Amber for a bit. I see a chest over here. I saw it during the, the cutscene. So that's cool. Meeting Lynn along the way. I kind of like that. Like, meeting, like, uh, some travelers, uh, you know. I don't know, it kind of makes for interesting conversation. And also, like, breaks up the exploration a bit. Which I always love. It's gonna take me a while to get acquainted to this. Um... Oh, we'll switch. We'll switch. Switch back. Switch back. Yeah. Oh, she just got that as well. Yeah, I saw the under another chest over there. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. So it's adventure rank, it's not like a level up rank? Sorry, guys. You're immune to this? <laughs> I knew it. I didn't, but I pretend I did. What you get? This is called Swirl. That's what you get. That's literally what you get. And I'm actually very upset with you guys. I would actually go and tell your mothers if, if, if you had any. Jump. Can I climb on this? No? Maybe I have to jump from the top here? Uh, no, maybe we can use Amber to shoot it out? Amber, you ready? Amber, you're the MVP now if you get this right, okay? What the hell is that? Amber, what's, what is that? Amber, what is that? Amber. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, Amber. Maybe we don't use the L because I think that's like a fire move. I don't think it's just aiming. Are we gonna, is that a cooked chicken then? Oh, it's just chicken. Or fowl, as it's called. I guess we're going to go into the city now. There's time to explore this whole place, like. I'm assuming they're not just going to cut, cut off this world for us or this first part of the world. I have to assume so anyway. But I could be wrong. He says to himself as he walks towards this beautiful... It actually is really... I can't... Okay, okay, Calvin, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> What's that over there? Lily, what's that over there? Is it Lily? Isn't it Lily? Oh, that's another waypoint. Um, should we go get it? Lynn, sorry. I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice to meet you. Uh, we met. Oh, oh, we did meet already. She did, she met um, our other character, Wonder. She didn't meet Amber. I was about to be like, hey, you did meet me? Like a little freaking terrible. That's a terrible criticism of any game. It's not even a critique. It's a nitpick. It's a little nitpick. Um, I'm not sure, do we want to be Amber or do we want to be Wander for these conversations? Timmy, how are you doing, boy? What are you doing? You're scaring your pages away. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, they'll be back. They do come back usually, but what happens one day they leave and never come back again? Just like that. Greetings! I'm here to come to the town. I'm here- what are these? Oh, more people to talk to. 
Your name is Sage? Hey, yeah. Hey there, kiddo. Say, have you heard the dragon, uh, the, the, sorry, heard of the Dandelion Sea? Uh, Dandelion Sea, you say? Uh, there's this book I read, it says somewhere in Mundstad, there's a big sea of dandelions. Uh, it even has little talking foxes in it. Little talking foxes? Yeah, I want to know what talking to animals is like. But I've only seen a guy in green clothes and white socks talk to animals uh, before. I happened, uh, uh, happened to bump into him. I told mom how awesome he was, but the guy said that I was mistaken. Parsley and rosemary. Oh, they're all like, yeah, ingredients. We can't go on like this. The dandelion sea, there's no way to find it, is there? It's a fairy tale of a fantasy, but should I tell him or shouldn't I? That may be so, but humans can never leave their fantasies aside. Only if we dream can we have hope, and with hope comes opportunity. Surely you've forgotten that snowy day in Shnezhnya, when you were my boar, princess, and I was your wolf pup. Oh, Parsley. Just as we once dreamed to ascend to Celestia. No, even now, we. Indeed, even for another moment, let's allow this little sage to enjoy the fantasies of his youth. Can't get over how beautiful this game looks. I actually really like it, guys. I actually really like how it looks. Uh, one second, though. Uh, character? Uh, level up again. Is that good? You guys probably are like, don't do that. No, don't do it. I don't know. I'm just doing stuff. Now we're level eight with Amber. Are you happy? That's your fault. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Character switching and cooldown. Welcome to Moonstead, Traveler. How can I help you? Tell me about Moonstead. Known as both the crown of the north and the city of pastoral song, there are no words that can truly describe the beauty of the city. A new bard arrived in the city not long ago. You should seek him out if you want to feel the true essence of Moonstad. Monstad. But the songs he plays are a bit archaic. Those songs date back to a thousand years. No clue how he, as to how he knows them. Are there any anecdotes about Monstad? Anecdotes? <laughs> not sure if this one counts as one. When I'm on my shift here, I'll sometimes notice the weather change very suddenly. I'm rather a natural phenomenon. It feels more like someone is manipulating the weather. But who has that much power to do that? Even the higher ranking knights... And the Knights of uh, Vonius don't seem to have that ability to do that. How strange. And how are you, Swan? Hi, anything Knights can do for you? Who are you? I'm Swan. I mostly perform sentry duty. I also provide necessary assistance to our business visitors in accordance with the Knight of Favonus uh, handbook. Is there anywhere good to go in Mondstadt? Sorry, I can't find anything at all about that in the Knights of Havana's Handbook. Shouldn't we know the Knights of Havana's Handbook anyway? Here we go. We're entering this town. Took us a while. It's, pre it's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's all you need is a good town. And you got Calvin. Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mon. Thank you. Okay, so I'm guessing that she is like someone you have to have at the start. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. I hope she knows something about the God of uh, Anros. Yeah, we'll say that. We'll say that. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. You are going above and beyond, Amber. It's a reward for helping me clear out that hill. Oh, I guess so. Camp. I guess so. I guess we did do that. Hey, why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground.
There's a blacksmith already. Wagner. Wagner, can I talk to you? I'm on your table. How can I help you? Can you upgrade my stuff? Or... I got something made. Do you bring materials? Let me have a look. Do we have materials? We do. Enhancement. Oh, we can make an enhancement door. Cool. Okay. Out of iron chunks. Cool. Okay, that's awesome. And there's a smith's apprentice as well. We won't talk to absolutely everybody because I feel like that would take three years. But I'm already like really interested in just exploring this town. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. And there's the guy in the water as well. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. Hello, Sarah. Can you sell me some food? Welcome, good daughter. How can I help you? Oh, what can I do for you? Uh, what is good hunter? Tell me, Monster. Tell me, are there any events happening as of late? There happens to be a salad tasting event going on right now. Here you go. If you like it, you can always visit me again. Okay, cool. We got a satisfying salad for nothing. <laughs> for doing nothing. I'll take it. So we have to, like, check out the quest menu as well. Oh, sorry, Marjorie. Welcome. Every treasury is unique, so we don't negotiate on the price, nor do we give refunds. I'd like to browse some items. My, this unfortunate shop is not undergoing renovations recently. Drop by next time. Our products will never disappoint. No problem. No problem. It reminds me, it's kind of like a mix of, like, the Tales of series and Fable. That's why I'm getting the vibes of here. General Goods Blanche. Hey there, we have quality goods at honest prices. I'd like to ask about something. I'm listening. What makes Monsanto and General Goods special? Our shop may be small, but we do have a warehouse in Liu Harbor. We take pride in having the largest catalog of items and the fastest shipping of all in Mondstadt. That's good. That is very good. How are you doing, Tamias? Tamias? Hi there. Are you also interested in alchemy? Not really, but we could, you know, see. Sure, please go ahead. Maybe I'll get you used to it. So far, no. Sorry about that, Tamias. Wasting your time. Okay, so if we go into here, what is this? Is the this is okay? Rosa multi-floor. Wait, what? Huh? Rules. Story quest. Story quests include not only the story quests of each character and cells, but also hangout events that let you spend more time with your favorite companions. Unlocking story quests and hangout events. To gain access to story quests and hangout events, you need to gain measure of approval from the world in which to play out. To gain approval, you must do the following: complete the required preceding quest, reach the required rank. Use the required number of story keys. Obtaining story keys. Receive story keys must attain a certain number of daily condition awards. Even the greatest heroes must first learn to excel the small things in life before they can become worthy of undertaking legendary feats. Receive a story key for every eight daily commission rewards that you obtain. The maximum number of story keys in your possession at a time uh, is, is subject to a limit. What? Just a little, uh, we should get, we should definitely get that, um, checkpoint. What was it called? Like, it's like a wait, I guess like it's like, um, a, a waypoint, I guess? It's just over here anyway. Hey, stop sitting down in the job, Glory. Glory, you gotta get up. We're all tired. And our teleport waypoint. Great. So adventure rank is different from your level. What's this? Okay. Placing elemental skills. This is like tutorials. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And then select map. Select the teleport waypoint to teleport to the location. So you can teleport to different locations. I don't want to do this just yet. Do we need to do this just yet? I feel like we're going up here to this the area up here. Oh, 
Yeah, this is a pretty town. I, I can't wait. I think we're only really exploring it at night. I can't wait to see it, like, in sunrise and everything. That's usually what I love about, um... I mean, like... A town is really important in a game. Especially in RPG. I don't care anyone says. We get a little slower walking up the stairs. That's good. <laughs> little detail. Joker! This is Fatui territory, you hear? Ahem, the Goth Grand Hotel has been reserved for the Fatui delegation alone. No access to unauthorized person. How long have you been standing there? You trying to get me to abandon my post? Surely you don't think I'm falling for that. Loyal Luke never abandons his post. I must keep watch over the uh, <coughs> diplomatic mission. I almost let that slip there. Anyway, no loitering for unauthorized persons, so get out of here. No loitering for you either, Luke. There's a goth association and I'm not in it. Gonna have to talk about that. That's brutal. Gonna have to have a conversation. Gonna have to have a little argument, baby. Music is good too. It's very subtle. Like, there hasn't been, like, many massive music, uh, cues yet, apart from, like, when we introduced Amber, I guess. So this is where we have to go. So, the present I want to give you oh. is... A wind glider! Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them, too! I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. So is this gonna be like a way, uh, like a quick way to travel around those? Maybe that's how we got the we get the chest. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it away. And she got brought to a high point to do it's this easy too. Easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. Oh god. <laughs> Move forward. X1 to glide. <gasps> Are you serious? Hey, goth boy. Look at this. <laughs> goth boy. Am I in the goth group now? This is Fatui territory. You hear? Luke. I'll give you Fatui territory in a second. So is that what, um, that's what they give us? So we can check the map here. They want us to go a little bit further. Wait, what is this? Elemental tr Wait, what, what? That's down here again. Oh, so they want us to move down here again. Okay. Still getting used to, like, everything. There's probably some stuff I'm missing now as well. I think they wanted us to travel all the way down there. And I'll do it this way. <laughs> Where is he? I don't know. I, think he, I don't think he has the hang of it yet. I'm coming. I swear. Oh, oh, I flew all the way down here. Look, I'm still flying. Little flying jumps. Oh, I did it. Wow. That was tough flying, Amber. Oh, no. The sky. This is the dragon that we saw earlier, yeah. If we didn't get the glide stuff before this, we would have been dead. We're above the clouds, though. What? Huh? How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? Fend off! Fend off! Fend off! Now. 
<laughs> okay, we're it's at your boss. This is um an interesting way to introduce the first boss. Us flying through the sky. I wonder if other bosses are gonna be in the sky too. We're doing pretty okay. Is this, is this all we have to do? I imagine was, like there might be a twist, but really this dragon's been giving people the problems. I wonder if we're gonna be like revered after we do this. Oh. So that was pretty much it. I guess it said fend off, it didn't say destroy. I'm 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 okay, Amber. You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? I'm your ally. I I I, I hope. Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself. Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? This is like the, 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 the Seto Kaiba-style character of this game, I can tell already. Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. Wander and Paimon. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from Thank family. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Another really cool design though as well, and eye patch always works. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. I would say the first one because I don't want to upset people just because I got here very so early. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. Two. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Dressing room. Dressing room unlocked. Collect unique wind gliders and outfits. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wait. Wait, dress dressing room. Please. Outfit. Wind glider. And you can unlock different wing gliders. Depending on your uh rank, I guess, or maybe you have to buy them. So it's a reputation level. Special war game to PlayStation players on PlayStation Network. I don't have PlayStation Network. Okay, it's cool. They're like rewards. They're actually rewards that you can get in game. That's actually very cool. You know? I wonder if we can buy outfits as well though in the game, like if we have some money. Amber's here too. Amber's doing a good job as well. Elemental reactions? L1 plus. Wait, hold on a second. What's it? Wow, this weather is awesome. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can go in that way. No, I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Hopefully. No, it's it's charging. It's definitely charging. So 
So where did they want us to go next? There's also stuff for artifacts here as well. Any new ones? There is new ones for us. There we go. We can also go to the map. And they want us to head down towards here. It's weird to not like, like, is there some... I wonder if like there's a way to like get this like on my mini map again. Like if I just messed up with that. I say there probably is and I'm just being stupid. I say there is. She can run. We're about to be going here. Get ready for the oh, she can go like two. This seems to be the Knights of Favonia's headquarters. Let's head in. Paimon's all ready to go in. This is the Knights of Favonia's headquarters. Let's take a look inside. And you can switch between which one you want to do. I'm interested to see what our characters are going to be introduced in this game. Hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. Jean. Oh, so, look at that great outfit. I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll Voice acting is really good. Time comes. Jean. I've brought them. And once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident This is very cool. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help she us call out? me sweeties. She's, I'm in her debt. <laughs> <laughs> You're both so adorable. You're adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. If it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your Oh, sister. so they're actually going to help us. They're actually being very nice about this. Um, yeah. Yeah, we want to help as well. Of course. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Right. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. I don't, but I'll... That outfit's so nice. The outfits are crazy. Look how good this is. Paimon doesn't. Must be a local thing. Knights of <laughs> time is against us. <laughs> Both of us just looking at each other going like, yeah, me neither. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right. We need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. What do we unlock? Wish. Wish feature has been unlocked. Wish upon the sky filled with a blanket of star. Okay. Shop. Shop isn't locked. Let's start and start to get power. So we have wish screen and we have... Well, let's open the wish screen for a second. Wait, there's characters? Is this what we're getting? Is this the characters? Every 10 wishes guaranteed includes four... Hold up a second. Hold up a second. We have eight. So we don't have enough yet. We don't have enough. Navia. So we only have... Eight wishes. Okay, so we can't get this yet. We need two more wishes. And only has a chance of receiving a four. That's actually very interesting. Can you get Noel? Noel looks fucking awesome. Look at that. 
No one's gonna. No, no one's a beast. No one's a goddamn beast. So how do we get more wishes? We're getting books here. I'll take all your books. Is that okay with you guys? Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Thank you for accepting an invitation, traveler. Are all the nicest strict as Amber? I heard you and Outrider Amber had a misunderstanding. Yeah, but it's over now. <laughs> Please forgive no, me. No, she was. She was. She, she was just doing her job. I don't want to ever tell him something Talk for that. To Amber, sometime. I'm sure you'll like how energetic she is. No, she's great. Is. She's great. She's great. That's my bad. I didn't want to make anyone. I didn't mean to tell you there, Amber. I was just. Want to team up with me? Uh, I should warn you though. I don't slow down for anyone. You seem pretty good with a wind glider. As a novice within the Knights of Avonius, your understanding of the wind is absolutely crucial. Thank you. Leave the advanced wind glider training to me. He's like he's like staring at her intently. You are so cool, Lisa. Or is that Kaya? You're not oh, that's Kaya. that wind glider. Your gliding style seems familiar. How'd you get dry badge? <laughs> Why is John acting Grandmaster? The Grandmaster is currently off leading an expedition, so the Master, Jean, has stepped in to oversee the Knights while he's gone. Hence, you'll hear many refer to her as the acting Grandmaster. When the Grandmaster left, he took the vast majority of our Knights with him, leaving the acting Grandmaster with far more responsibility and stress. Come to think of it, it must have been difficult for Jean. And then we have Lisa. I'm Lisa Librarian. Do you need anything, cutie? She called me cutie. She's good. How do we fight storm terror? A way to fight against storm terror? I'm sorry. But there's no way to do it alone. Fair enough. Judging by the level of its animal power, it's definitely not an ordinary creature. I could teach you some elemental basics, so you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about. Character's great so far. Like, they're actually, like, really interesting to talk to as well. I wonder, should we, do you guys think we should be reading these books as well? Should we leave? We can open the door and go out here. This is my new house. Um. So we have the wishes. We have this, which is Fate Foretold. Lisa, after obtaining Sparks Among Pages, recommend Adventure 5. Oh, this is Quest, is it? Who is this? Who is this? What the hell is this? Can someone explain this to me when we do it? Fate foretold. Lisa, after obtaining Sparks among the five pages, recommended to contain after completing Crash Course. Recommend Adventure Rank 5. How do we do this? That's actually very interesting. How do we... Our wishes... We only have eight wishes, so we can't do anything with this. Wait, hold on a second. Can we? Hold on a second. Hold up a second. I'm trying to press the right buttons here. It says here I have... Wait. Oh, we can buy them. Cool. Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. We'll we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. What if I what if I do buy a character though? A seven acquaint fate are needed. Oh my god, this is crazy. It's crazy. We have characters, though. We have a lot of characters. I'm not too worried about that. We're gonna leave the headquarters. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. So they want to open up the character screen? Going to blacksmith. Yeah, I like the gliding. The gliding is good. So we enhance the character. True level up. Why not? Let's give him that. Um, oh, we have new ones for this as well, yeah. Thank God they don't wear them. 
story. Okay, so we don't have character details on this. Um, we have... These are quests. Oh, so these are the quests we have to do. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, now I know. That, that's fine. And then we have... Hold on a second. This as well, which is tutorials. Okay, we're fine. Everything's good. We got one primogen. Cool. I'll be honest with you guys. I can totally see how, like, I would spend a lot of money on this game. Like, I would. I know that like, makes you sound weak. But I think I would spend a lot of money on this game. Let's check the map for a second, actually. I think I clicked the wrong thing. So we have to get this bunch of different things we can do. That there's the two quests, though. But I think they want us to open up the characters for... Um, this girl here, but for why? Oh, for dressing room. Oh, there's a new outfit. Outrider Amber, rare What's the difference? Wait, oh, there's a difference. It's white. They both look good, though. That's cool. They both look good. They both look good. There is the blacksmith. Hey Wagner, how you doing, buddy? I talked to you earlier, remember? <sighs> Why? I'm looking for a weapon. Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow, he just bespoke weapons. Artisan weaponry. Of course. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you That's need. That's very nice of you, thank you. No need. I have other things to do. So there's a new quest yeah, added to this. Like so L3? Guy. So you have to collect three iron chunks and give them to Wagner. I think we'll do that right away. I think that'd be a good thing to do. I'm still, like, you know, not fully versed on the controls, and I think that you guys will probably definitely let me know uh, different changes I can do if we do play more. Um, and like, you know, the, the thing is, like, it's it's all dependent on on or dependent on you guys. If if you want to see more of this, like, um, I'm not someone who's stubborn. I didn't mean to jump into the water, by the way, uh, but I did, and that's it. You know what I mean? That's my life now. I can't stop what I just did. And, you know, that may sound silly, because, you know, like, what what always happens is, you know, I have... I think it's a myth um, that was created by, you know, the meta time. When the, the, Here's the thing, there's always been a meta on YouTube, right? There's always been, like, what you do... You know, you have to do this to get this on YouTube, you have to get that to get this on YouTube. If you want to play a game, you got to do this, or you got... You, you know, if you want to... You know, and one of the things that was always said about... YouTube was that like you can't especially with video games I remember like I remember hearing all the time people were like you can't play a game that you like and at the same time have an have the audience like it too and I think I think it was just like a a pure myth to me um and the reason I say it's it's a myth is because like, I always think there's, like, always a balance, you know? Like, we can, we, like, I, I enjoy playing games with you guys. I enjoy hearing your comments. I enjoy seeing your comments. There's a reason I refresh the comments every few minutes. It's not because I'm, like, you know, uh, it's like, oh, I'm lonely. <laughs> I, I, I literally just love seeing you guys' reaction to, like, my stuff. And then we have, like, get to have, like, a nice, nice conversation about it, too. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that that's, like, the most fun thing about um, YouTube is, is, like, seeing the comments, seeing the reaction to the comments. Oh, there it is. That's where he wanted us to go. Regardless of that, I think we should also sort this out. No one escapes by sight. Haha. <laughs> maybe we should go. Maybe we should go in and do that right away. Watch this. Are you ready? It's not gonna work. Get 
this guy first. I just think that there's like always going to be like... Oh, what's the button to hit again? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there's always going to be room to play games that you guys like that I also like. You know what I mean? And also, there's no shame in listening to your audience. You know what I mean? There's no shame in it. Um, and you also just gotta try new things. And, like, Genshin is something I, like, didn't even think about trying for the longest time. And I don't know why. Maybe it was just because, like, you know, every, you know, and, like, even if, like, you know, I think you fans can admit, I think the fans of this game would even say this, too. It has, like, this, like, reputation online for being very volatile with a fan base or whatever. Um, but usually what happens, especially since my channel is a lot smaller... What tends to happen is that, like, I, I, I tend to get, like, the best of the best when it comes to fan bases. Uh, you know, it's, it's rare when we have a time where we're like, oh, God. Like, I remember everyone was like, the Five Nights at Freddy fan base is, is terrible, man. They're terrible. And then I, like, played Five Nights at Freddy's and I was like, oh, this is really fun playing with Five Nights at Freddy's fans. The Donkey Kong fan base, I heard that too. And, like, for the most part now, like, I think I get along with the Donkey Kong fan base. I think uh, one of the, you know, things that happen, I think, at first... I think, I think like, you know, you have to weed out kind of the people that are going to... But that's just people in general that are going to be weird about stuff. Um, you kind of have to be like, okay, this person is being rude because they're rude. You know what I mean? Not because they're a Danganronpa fan. They'd be rude about anything. They're probably rude to, like, the cashier at the checkout. They're probably rude to, you know, their own mother. Um, you got to, like, fig you know, you kind of got to figure that stuff out. Um, so I'm not worried. I'm generally not worried. At least I hope I'm not worried. Maybe I am worried. But yeah, we're, we're trying this game out. I think it's really pretty. I think it's, so far it's fun. And we'll see where it goes after that. And like you guys have already said, I don't think this will be a Let's Play. Because I think it'll be like extra videos and stuff like that. Hey, Wagner, I got your stuff. What do you want? I got the iron chunks. Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. It's been two minutes. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. Okay. So we can- we have to- we have, we need way more materials to make stuff like this. I guess we'll make this. Is that what we have to do? If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. No bother. Ideally, when I'm not busy. You seem to be in a bad mood. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. Fair enough. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. Fair enough. You be yourself. He's certainly committed to his work. Paimon will give him that. His temper isn't great, but leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't, like, not nearly a bad person at all. So the green lines here, I think, are the main quest. So we might as well go do one of these. Um, I'm kind of into the idea of progressing as quick as possible before we go any, you know, before we take a break from this. Are th is there three main quests here on the map? I keep pressing the wrong button here. Ha! No, it's this. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm an idiot. So we have this. This. So I'm guessing these two are the ones we have to do first. They're probably the best ones to do. Um, and we'll stay in this map area for now. We came from Starfield Lake. Is that another quest? Or are these side quests with these things on the map? Seems there's a lot of side quests. Do you have another side quest? Is it, was it Lily? Lily? Lilim? Lilagu? Lali? Ligi? Lancho? I think it's Lancho, isn't it? No, it's... Lin! Never go 
adventuring on an empty stomach. That's not the side quest, though. Is that a side quest? No, it's a ugh, fast travel point. Calvin, come on. Believe it or not, it's been a day since I played the last part. Wins the pass. Talk to Amber, huh? Amber, can you talk to Amber for me, please? Will do. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to break the game. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. Cool. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Huh? Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. I'm kind of excited to see what's going to be in these dungeons, though. Again, everything's so fresh and so new to me. Everything's so fresh and so new. Deep in the Temple of the Falchion, recommended party level 4. We can do this. Right? Yeah. So there, I wonder if they're going to be like raid dungeons. Do we pick who we're going to be? Uh, party one. Yeah, that's fine, right? That's a fine setup. I'm probably like maybe we'll get more characters as time goes on. You can use that console to open the door. I actually do like our main character design. I actually think it's nice. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Amber's ability to aim and shoot while aiming her arrows will accumulate charge. Once fully charged, the arrow will be imbued with pyro. Use pyro skills to ignite combustible objects. Sure. Like that. Cool. Music is good too. Like again, it's subtle. But uh, again, like I really feel like open world games like this have to be kind of a little bit more subtle. Um, if you want people not to get, like, freaking annoyed. You know what I mean? Like, because it, it, it can get, like, a bit irritating if you're, like, hearing, like, a full, like, theme all the time in an open world. Overworld games are different, of course. Oh, wait, that's not what I want to do. Go, go, bear, Too late. Buddy. This little bomb is crazy. Use elemental sight to see elemental attributes of different objects. Each element has its own color. Green symbolizes dendro, which can be ignited by pyro. Opponents' wooden shields are attributed to dendro, which can be ignited with pyro skills, rendering them defenseless. So this is dendro. Oh. Use elemental sight. Is that what they mean? We go, do we go through this, though? Oh, no, they want us to, to, to actually destroy the, the vines around it. No? Oh, no, they want us to go down here. Hello! Your shield will be destroyed, and then we go over here and do this. Horde? Where? The fighting must have got them riled up. Well, good thing I prepared my secret weapon, explosive puppet buried buddy. Really? Hey. Oh, it distracts them. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Do you have any emotes? That didn't do much, but hey, look. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. 
and we got a load of loot. This game is all very satisfying as it comes to loot. Like, very satisfying, right? Like, you're just getting constant loot. Is that explodable stuff? I want to blow up the, 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 the blew up the stones. Red means explodable, right? No? So we can just destroy these? Cool. I saw red meant like that you you could take an explode. I guess I was wrong. Boss? Boss? Okay. There's only one thing to do here. This. And then switch this. And then switch back. There you go. Just get rid of their shields. Yeah, beat up that girl. She doesn't, she doesn't even know what's going on. Our little puppet doesn't even know what's going on. Yeah, I like the combat. I like the switching back and forth between Amber and uh, Wander as well. It's really good. And what are you going to do? Th this is a weird thing. These guys like tend to just like stand here then after they're um, knocked down if they're a bow guy. I guess they can't do much until like they see us. My cabbages! I bet every single person who's played this game has made that joke at the at the cabbage moment. Every single individual. Yeah, you, you come here for originality, you're not getting it. It's not happening. Doesn't seem to be anything in these barrels. It's so high. Seems like there's something up there. I guess we can. Use, are we gonna be able to shoot this? Cause it has fire on it. There we go. Yep. Is there anything we can collect here though? First. Yo. Go back this way. Look at that. So cool. And you can't die from. Wait. Oh, we did get. We. I was like, you can't die. You very much can. <laughs> you very much can. What re what regenerates our health? Is it just food, I wonder? I'm guessing that's what it is. I don't think we'll need it for now, though. Maybe we'll. We're heading over this way, aren't we? We should have just dropped down like this instead. Um, let's see if we can get some food. Right? Like we have these, right? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do for now. What's this? Dragon's breath. Is that where the power is coming from? Great. Do you have to destroy it? Oh, it's, it's literally just wreck it. Phew, I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change, so too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier. Yep. If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. Yeah, she's, they seem pretty knowledgeable, and like so far, everyone's been very I'm pleasant saying, in their I own way. Our history. It's just. I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? Fine or fine or. Oh, we have ten of those things. Does that mean we can get the, the character now? I don't think that's what it means, isn't it? Let me check. No, because we need eight wishes. We need one thousand I don't get the I don't get what that is. <laughs> Wait. Hold on a second. Can we convert? 
so we need 100 to convert. I, I don't get the conversion rate. Since someone will explain it. It's it's a little bit confusing to me. I want to see if we can get a new character at some point. It'd be kind of funny if we could. Leave domain. That was actually pretty uh, simple, wasn't it? That was a pretty simple domain. <gasps> now we're back in the daylight. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We should definitely go over and get this as well. It's so pretty in the daylight, isn't it? What is that? Be you friend or foe? Well, they're definitely foes over there. Let's get this and then we'll fight them. And then we'll go over there. Oh, hello. Honestly, when I see, whenever I see slimes because of Dragon Quest, I'm always at peace. I always feel at peace. Some level 4 creature over here. Do you want to handle this, Amber? Now you're burning. Look at this. We could have been friends. Now you're burning. Yeah, like, I like that there's, like, little statues that can activate more on the map. Like, I know it's a very, um... I think it's always one of the most criticized ways of activating a map. Uh, really, like, I think probably, like, a, a good way of doing this, like, and no game really does this that often, is, like, you know, just buy a map. Who I think Hollow Knight did it, right? The world opens itself before the noble hearts. But I guess, like, this is just a... I always see it, though, as, like, an ex incentive to explore. You know what I mean? Worship statue... About Lost Ocular. Lost Ocular are scattered throughout the land. Collect these Ocular and offer them to statues. There are seven in the respective regions. Oh, okay. I didn't even know you could do this. That's a whole new thing. Uh, where is the boys we have to kill? Oh, look at the water as well. It's so pretty in the daylight. This game thrives in the daylight, for sure. Meet Kai at the temple. That's the next thing we're going to have to do. But first, I have an idea for you guys. Hey, it's me. I'm just a pretty little girl. I'm just coming over here saying hi. How you doing? I hope you all have a good day. Watch this. Okay. Look at that. Oh, no. Hey. Go over to that statue over there. I wonder what that is. Oh. God. Oh. This is this is a bit of a hassle for me. I, I, you can walk through fire in this game, though, which is cool. I, I, I'm up for it. I didn't intend for that to happen, but, like, look. It worked out. It worked out very well. Yeah, like, exploration in this game is fun. A reward on the road. The thing is, like, you know, I can totally see how, like, someone would definitely get, like, locked into the idea of, of like, wanting to get new characters all the time. Like, and I, I totally get that. Like, that's totally, like, the case. For me so far, like, I downloaded this game for free. And I'm just exploring this nice little world. And I've spent no money yet. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to I'm not trying to give like a, a big statement about it, like, oh like this you guys are Ha You're wrong or you're right or whatever. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um I just think that like, you know, for me I'm just trying to give my perspective on what I'm doing right now in this game. And so far that's what I'm doing. Is I'm I'm I've downloaded this game for free. And I'm having a really, really good time. And it's a pretty game. I'm so glad I gave another chance, though. You know? Music is beautiful. Oh, that's one of these things. Hey. Hey, can I collect you? Can I collect you? Oh, to follow it? Come here. I, I love you. I love you. I love you, I do. I love... I lo I'll I'm coming up there to you. I'll be there in a second. I, I love you. I mean, we should still follow it, right? There's a statue. Very sick. Keep this close. Very sick. 
Old Merc's pal as well. We got a new weapon. I wonder can we equip, can we equip it? Right now, oh, we have a new weapon though. That's cool. Can we switch then to see if she got any new weapons? She did. Look at that. Artifact, she got a new artifact? Nice. Honestly though, like so far the game hasn't really posed a massive problem when it com as it comes to difficulty. But I imagine that that might change. Are you immune to this? Hmm. You look like a slime that I love. You look like a slime that used to be my wife. I know Petunia. You knew Petunia? Oh, now I'm frozen over. You, how did you know Petunia? Petunia and I were best friends. I know you first, you seem to be a bigger problem. <laughs> Petunia and I used to always chat about the game. What game? Oh, now you're dead, so sorry. Now I'm wet. Hope you're happy. This is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Firewatch as well, like in a, in the best way possible. A reward on the road. We're building up our adventure rank as well. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I'm sorry I keep saying that, but this is gorgeous. Let's go over to this camp as well. Excuse me. This reminds me of like when I was in, remember Tears of the Kingdom, if anyone remembers that playthrough when I would just like try to get ore as like I was avoiding all the fights in the depths. Excuse me. Aha! Your boy just left you guys. <laughs> Your boy's gonna come back up. And something is going to be very different about this camp. It might be that there's not many friends that are left up here. You guys going to come up here? Oosh. Did you get me with that? Oh, he was shooting me anyway. Crossbow boy. Come here to me. Come here. I want to talk to you. You killed all my friends. I did actually do that. I did kill all your friends. And look, you can't, I can't deny it. I'm sorry. Let's see. So yeah, we have a chest over here, and I saw a chest over there too, so we might collect that too. Yeah, it's still pretty in the nighttime. <laughs> exactly. A reward on the road. I'm saying exactly so it sounds like I know what I'm doing. Where was that other chest? I saw another chest. Did you guys see another chest? Maybe I saw it from this perspective, so I might look over here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Our next location we're going is over here. I forgot we can fly as well, or glide. Meet Kaya at the temple. I will. I will do that. I will meet Kaya at the temple. And you'll all be sorry. You'll all be sorry that I met Kaya at the temple. Oh, we can activate that. That's probably a good idea to do. That's the other place we have to go to after this. I feel like, you know, we'll do the elemental trial afterwards. It seems like it looks like it's, it's further away, so it might be more difficult. So maybe doing all these first might be a good idea. Yeah, the music in the nighttime even is really good. Like, I, get, I don't know, I, I feel like so far this game isn't really, really, um presentable. 
Like it's done a really good job presenting itself in terms of art style and music and things like that. Like this is a good track. This is a track that I wrote that like if I heard it on, on the PlayStation 2, I'll remember forever, you know? I'll keep this close. And we activate this waypoint. I thought that was one of the things we had to follow, maybe not. Oh. Hello. Disappear. I know there's a different button we can press, the R2 button we can press for that. It's kind of cool that we got kind of an indication that they were going to show up. Just from that. And this is the character. Oh yeah, we, we met this character earlier. Is there an enemy coming towards me? Oh, there's some freaking cool ore over here though. We're going to collect that. Oh, look at that down there as well. Oh, who are you? I'm wondering if like it might be a good idea to um use this. Oh god, this character on 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 her, because we can melt him. You know what I mean? Yeah, look at that. Oh god. And then maybe, like, once it's melted, we'll go over here and just start smacking? Hey! Come down! Trying to avoid the hits. Melt again. It's actually like, I don't know, like... I feel like combat in this game is, like, is fine. Like, I was worried about it being, like, too stiff or something. Because sometimes games just don't get that combo right, like, and, and, like, it's sometimes the simplest thing in the world, you know? Like, to get it wrong. It's doing damage to me as well. I don't think we can just, we can knock that down yet. That's fine. We'll leave it for now. We're even getting electrocuted. And we can talk to our friend, Kaya. Is that Kaya? Kaya? You've arrived. I have. Come closer. Can you smell that? Um. Something must have happened in the temple. Okay. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever is giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh yes, it is going to be lively in there indeed. No doubt, more nothing more than a disorderly mob of creatures. Oh, oh you're quite the brave one. So the, that's good. I was wondering if the if the if the dialogue options change it's what they say. That the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. I'm, no I'm up for it. offerings to the four winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the four winds. Let's go for it. <laughs> yep. I mean, this is one that yeah, this is our team. This is our team. Um, quick, well, no, yeah, we'll just go. We'll just go. Amber and uh, Wander are our team right now. We might get more later. I wonder, should we... Oh, sorry. I wonder, should we, though... We do. We need eight. We don't even have eight. We have one wish. I always thought that we had more. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. We need so much more wishes. Let's level up. Let's level up to level ten. And then let's... Um... Level up you as well to level 10. I think level 10 is fine for now. Let's go. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversary. I'd like to see it. Cool. Is, yeah, the, 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 cloth, the clothing designs are... Oh, we're playing as him now. As a trial? So it's a trial run? Hmm. If I'm not mistaken... 
The end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind yeah, of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. He seems very experienced. Is there water on opponent may become wet? Cairo can still freeze water. Hydro opponents or opponents that are wet. Utilize this elemental reaction to gain advantage of your opponent. So that's his special ability. Cool. Okay, so... Like this? That's awesome. Look at that. We, got, we didn't use it properly, but I thought it would freeze the whole water. Oh, they're all wet. Oh, don't. Oh, God, you poor things. I wonder what will happen to you. <laughs> awesome. Dodge this, he says. Nice. Unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange occurrence. So they're giving some lore drops here as well. So we don't know why on Earth he has the ability to channel this. We just know that he can channel this. Okay, we can't climb up this anyway. What are, are these checkpoints? Oh, it's a resurrect. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. A flame towards core is what gives the energy to shoot fire. Use Kairos because it's. Oh, yeah, I was expecting to do that anyway. Freeze. Yeah, that makes sense. That's cool. I like that they're showing us the different elemental abilities you can use as well. You're already wet, so. We should probably use our triangular move as well, but... We could have not yet yeah, knocked him into the fire. That would be really fun. Freeze. There we go. Oh, finally, we're here. Didn't take that long. It's actually very pleasant. Here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. There's another doorway here as well. We can drop down. So yeah, they're just checkpoints. I was wondering what they were. They're just checkpoints. It makes sense. Door resurrection. The blue stone in the center of the room is a hydro amber. Breaking it will make the rain making uh Oh, it make everything. Yeah, we so we used this before, but we obviously didn't really know what we were going to use it for eventually, so. Water. Now you're wet. We can use this to put out fire. Wait, hold on Good a second. Idea. That's some keen observation. We there you go. Team to give you a title and make you a knight. Wait, d d what was her name? Uh, Kayamon is going to be a knight? Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. That is really cool. So far, we haven't had any boss battles. Well, we have, I guess, if you count the, the dragon, but not in, not in these dungeons. I wonder if that's going to change. Some extra stuff over here. I'm not losing out on anything, guys. I'm not. It's not happening. We can level up a lot. Or we're gonna level up a lot, I feel like. Our venture rank is going up. I'm guessing we can... Yeah, underwater spikes may... Uh, makes the area too dangerous soon, too. Yeah, you can freeze it again. Yeah, these are like... like I, I like that they're giving us the... the, the um, you know, because a lot of people... Like, like myself, I'm like... Oh... Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting grandmaster about it. What's crazy about that is like, you know, I like I was saying about um I like that they're giving lore by the way in between each, in like in these little conversations. Like, you know, me being like, oh I sure I know that. Of course I'm gonna freeze the water. Um the reason they still have those type of tutorials there is not because, you know, they just they're, they're they want to annoy the player. Like they do studies on this and find that people will literally, like, fail over and over again. Because, like, here's the thing, there's people like us who probably play games all the time. And then there's people who, like, don't listen as well. That's another is thing. That the thing that Storm um, is using to gain its power? And then there's people who don't play games ever. Seems probable. Let's deal with it. And they don't really know what to do sometimes. Well, and believe it or not, they do get stuck on moments where, like, like that, you know what I mean? 
Like, I know it's hard to believe. You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. How was autoplay in this? The battles you just fought were sights to behold. That's good. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. I'm trying to be both. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Stormcare's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. Very well. You're very convincing. You very cool character. Very There's cool guy. No way hilly turtles organized an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. So he thinks someone else planned it. What is that? Thus you were behind this. Really cool design again. The designs in this game are awesome. Who is that? Who is that? Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but. Your involvement in this just made things a whole lot So he knows him. Interesting. He knows him. We didn't get to see his face. That was a really cool dungeon. Obviously, it's very... Sh Wait. We have a new character? Okay. So we just have a, a new character. Okay, so you can get characters just by, by doing missions. This world is really pretty. Um, What's crazy about that, though... Is that, like, we have this new introduction of a character, this this villain that I thought was going to be, like, there for a while, because the design is actually really, really cool. Uh, and then... Like... Out of nowhere, this other ca character comes in that I don't know who they are. And is freaking awesome, as well. Oh, it's starting to rain, nice. Nice, I love a bit of rain. To give a little input um, to, to what I think about this game so far, I think the, the design is amazing, the characters are, like, like really, really cool. I like that the music is really present, like is presented really well. The lore has been presented really well so far. Um, I was, I'm not going to be spending any money on this, and you guys said I can do that. There's no problem with that. Um, I think we might like play a bit more of this maybe at some point. It's not going to replace the actual Let's Play. What this will be at all times will be an extra video a week or uh, two extra videos a week or something like that. Um, I think that's probably like my favorite way of doing things. And yes, yeah, so far. This has been... Wait a second. Let's go. So far, this has been, like, a really, really fun time. I like exploring the world. I think that it is slow. I think everyone, everyone, anyone would say it's slow, but I don't know, like, if this is gonna maybe pick up. I think it is a bit of a slow burn. Um, but also, like I said before, this game is free, which is actually pretty shocking. You know what I mean? This this game is free. Not that, like, you know... I think, I think there is, like, a whole new world. Oh, it's just an ice monster. Why would I try and get it with ice? I think a whole, like, a lot of people would, like, you know, scoff at the fact. Like, I think sometimes, like, free, we, there was a conversation about this years ago that, like, sometimes games that are cheaper are seen as less than, but I think that's really changing. Um, to the people that didn't want me to play this, guys, I'll just say, like, to me, it's it's just a video game. I'm not going to get, like, wrapped into this. I'm obviously not going to promote uh, just buying characters and gambling on characters. That's not what I'm going to be promoting. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is... Just playing this uh, game every once in a while. We'll see if we're going to play another video. That's all dependent on you guys if you want that stuff. Uh, but also, I want to thank all the patrons who make these type of videos possible. Because it's the Patreon that does make people these extra videos possible. And trying to reach that goal. Which hopefully we will eventually reach that goal we're trying to reach. Uh, but I also want to thank the producer tier. The Baby Gangster producer tier. I can never pay the Baby Gangsters. That's TieFire02, Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, Normal Cara, Felicitous Felix, George Candelaria, and Evan Soltani. Thank you so much for always supporting me, and thank you for every patron for supporting me. And I'll see you guys, whichever video you happen to click on next, that looks like mine. <laughs>